Hey everyone, Shiny Sephiroth here with another X War win. This one has been quite difficult. Uh, well, not this one in particular. Like I say all the time, this one is standard God Slayer ripping into people. So uh, yeah, you know the rundown. Lucas fuels God Slayer's initial you know, ultimate. Time goes in, makes him go again. And with the amount of times he's going, his scythe kicks in so that uh, he hits even harder with the crit. The, the more times he hits, you know, with the crit uh, percentage that Scythe gives. Um, so you just uh, go through there. Uh, Yi used to be on this team, but Team 3 was having a hard time surviving, so I switched out for Lucas in the hopes that God Slayer would compensate for the lack of uh, defense, and he does. Uh, then we have Chloris here to help as a, a background just in case it's needed, but uh, for this one, obviously, as you just saw, it's not needed. Uh, God Slayer does pretty pretty well on his own, and um, so this should be over very, very shortly. So there you have it. There's that. This next one is my strategy team. Uh, it's the control team. So what you have here is you have Ivy in the front. We want her to uh, entangle the other team as quickly as possible. And actually I have been thinking about changing that up a little bit, maybe moving her to the back row because I see some benefit of uh, the entanglement starting in uh, round two. Uh, usually it's at the end of round one that the entanglement happens, which means the other team is already gone. So in theory, you're really only getting one round's worth of entanglement, but it worked out here in our case. Uh, then we also have Alpha, uh, Rockefeller, and Gillies, who are helping uh, increase the control that happens. Uh, and then we have our main attacker as Forest Dancer, who goes in and just continually beats on people until they die. And then Pierre acts as a sniper so that, um, yeah, so that he just sweeps and cleans up after her. And uh, the hard thing about this actually kind of fell in line with the, the issue that I was mentioning of uh, Ivy controlling people too early in the game. Uh, I was having a lot of issues uh, with once the entanglement ended, either Faith, the, this god person over here, Faith, or any of the other DPS uh, getting unparalyzed, untangled, and then just one-shotting us. So uh, for this team, I thought it was very important to do a lot of control and, uh, and focus on that because my defense obviously just wasn't strong enough to, to take in all those hits. So staving them off and paralyzing them and tangling them, getting them stuck in a certain situation for as long as possible uh, was the best. Also, another thing that you can, you can see here is Pierre, in a way, is also a control player because he does this disabling uh, status effect. Basically, like curse or mute in other video games you may, may know, he mutes the other person so they can't use their ultimate. So in a way, he is also a control person, so I think he fits in right, fits in very well. Uh, and I'm actually a little excited for when we get over to chapter 43 and we have four teams, because right now I'm, I'm liking the vibe of this control team, but I would like to have another control team and uh, with a fourth team, uh, then we could throw in, uh, once they're more leveled up, uh, Zeus as well as Balance. And then this is the team that I was losing every single time up until now. Um, I just threw, I didn't have a lot of defenders left, so I slap on uh, Paladin here uh, to help with defense as well as Yi. And then everything else is just hit hard, hit hard, hit hard. But there is a little bit of strategy to this. I made sure to put Toko in the first row because she's not as needed as the others, and so if she dies quicker, that's fine. But I do need her at least for round one so she can do a concentrated attack on the person in slot one. And that is why we see Mecha Valkyrie here in slot number four so that uh, when, if Toko does her job and, and the RNG is in our favor, she will do something like this and just rip into the other team, which is actually really beneficial here because she also um, took out um, uh, the paladin that they had. Uh, and then, but we see, right, even though Einstein here is going to act as a revival uh, for the time being, 
light is technically KO'd. And so Mecha Valkyrie was able to go in and get the linchpin of this whole operation for the enemy, that Chloris. The Chloris is very, very difficult to, uh, to survive uh, if she survives round one. And then you also have the added negativity of that Pierre just hitting with his ghost snipe really tough. Um, but thankfully, uh, the dominoes were put into play right from the get-go because Toko did what she now rarely does. I feel like her, she they keep nerfing her RNG. Um, yeah, so she finally went through, did what she had to do, destroyed the front row so that the back row was open up for Mecha Valkyrie to jump in, take out that chorus. And then a combination of Yi and Paladin during round two keeps at least one of our DPS alive, which is what happened. We had barely, we had Mecha Valkyrie left uh, so she could go in and then you cross your fingers with her as well because she's just an advanced Toko. And she went, she did her RNG thing and she didn't leave Pierre alive with only one HP so they can just sit here and snipe us to death. And then all we had to do is deal with a basically one HP course in the next round, which went fantastically in my opinion but there we have it 4230 it is done very excited that we have finished that and more fuel for time travel i went through and i, I recently used the uh the extra uh oomph that the uh, look here uh, balance uh, act, yeah balance balance yeah so all of these are are null and void even though they rolled everything back, all the record books say that these people technically beat level 28 when they didn't. Um, but yeah, I recently used the uh, the fuel that they rec recomped me for all of this happening. Um, I don't think I'm going to be beating level 27 legitly anytime soon. So let's go ahead and just sweep, get the uh, the fruits of our labor. Some, some good stuff. Hey, 14, 14, 16. All right, we're going to get some T2s here soon. Uh, maybe we already have some, do we? Yep, we got some more T2. That's fantastic. Uh, on top of the uh, event that's going on with the equipment. Uh, already, I mean, it's, it's all fantastic. All right. Oh, really quick rundown of the, the gear. We got this. We got this. I'll go ahead and show the gems. Here's gems. Here's relics. Gems. Relics. Oh yeah, you also need another talent, huh? Talent. Talent. Okay, Godslayer. Gem. Talent. Relic. Gem. You see, I've invested a little bit into her. Got this over here with the uh, the speed, uh, speed gem. So I pay attention to her a little bit. I know I've been neglecting her for a while. Uh, and then we have her. Which hey, look at this. Uh, oh, actually, this is gems. Uh, right here. Look at the relics. We're now one away. Almost there. And her talents. Go ahead here, his gems, his talents, his relics. And we have, who's the next person? Oh, yeah, actually, we did use her. Gems, relics, talents, gems, relics, uh, talents, relics. And I'm not going to keep saying it because, I mean, I don't need to narrate all of this. And uh, and for those of you I'm going too fast, please slow down the video or pause it. If I'm going too slow, just go ahead and press fast forward. Um, go here, do do do. Oh no! So I try to go fast and see what happens. There's that, there's that. There's that. That. Wound that. Oh, she doesn't have three relics, it's crazy. Didn't use him. Oh. Yeah, okay, that was way too fast. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, okay, I did use him. Alright. And what else do we got? I could use her. Let me give her a speed gem or something. Yeah, go ahead and fix that for you. Hey. Um, actually, what happened? I should probably invest in this. Uh, if the target is already affected, alpha lowers the target's armor six. Ooh, definitely working on that. I don't know why I have it up to this point. I'm a crazy person. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. <laughs> Come on, let's get to it already. Takes so long to do this. You have a quick enhance. You can choose what level you want to level it up to. This is just too darn slow. There we go. What is her 30? Is that where she becomes like super viable? Uh, I don't know what electromagnetic shield is, but okay. I'll look at that later. Cool. So, 
Uh, should be even easier next time. No, I didn't use her. No, I did not use him. Use him. Hey, finally. Is that? Is that? There you have it. I still have her. She's got those speed gems. And who else do you have here? Okay, got Gillies. It's a work in progress. Is that, is that the whole? Well, no, let's forget him. And no relic, oh, right there. Yeah, not yet. Cool, cool. And I think that is all she wrote. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead. There you go, buddy. There you go. All right. Well, hope that was helpful. Thanks to everybody for the patronage, for being a part of this amazing veteran pigeon community. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace!